guys, it's Kevin Davis from Rugged Restore, and today I wanted to talk to you about our Barricade Ultimate Bed Liner Coating. It's a sprayable bed liner, great for DIY, great for doing this in your shop, in your garage, in your front yard, in your driveway like we are here. You've got some different options when you're talking about bed liner, whether you're going to put it in your trunk bed, you're going to put it on your rocker panels, you're going to put it in your uh, fenders or on the Jeep interior like we have on our Jeep. Uh, you can go the professional route, which is looks great, goes on well, lasts a long time, but tends to be pretty expensive. Uh, or you can go with some of the parts store, big box store brands, uh, which tend to be messy, they stink, they're hard to use, hard to clean up. Or you can go with our Barricade Ultimate Bed Liner material, which is water soluble. It's going to be easy to clean up, easy to apply. You can either spray it on with our optional spray gun, which I prefer, uh, gives a little bit of a, a better texture to it. Uh, or you can even roll it on or brush it on, which is going to look great. It's just going to give a little bit of a different texture than it will when you spray it on. What I want to do now is show you a little bit of the prep, also how you spray it on or roll it on and what those two textures and processes look like. Just like any other coating, whether it be paint, bed liner, or anything else that's going on metal, prep is the most important step and often the most time consuming. I'm going to show you that a little bit today. We're going to scuff this up with some sandpaper. I'm actually going to use a little air driven DA. You can do it by hand. You can do it with an electric sander. Whatever you want to do, just want to get it scuffed up so that you get that mechanical bond with the coating. Then we're going to make sure it's degreased and has no oils or any other contaminants ready to go. So I'll show you the prep. Then I'm going to show you how to use the gun, uh, the spray gun, and then I'll also show you how to roll it on so we can show the difference between those two. For the sanding step, I'm going to use this pneumatic driven DA. You can use an electric sander or even hand sand it. All we want to make sure of is that it's scuffed up well enough so it'll get that mechanical bond with the coating. So the DA made pretty quick work of that. You can use a hand sander, a palm sander, whatever you have available. We just want to make sure that we get this thing scuffed up. I would spend a little bit more time getting sort of the smaller details done if I was actually going to apply this to something uh, for a permanent bond. The next step is just to make sure that all the oils, grease, and contaminants are off the surface. We're just going to use our all surface cleaner. If you happen to have uh, deeper oil stains or grease stains, you want to use a, an engine degreaser or some sort of heavy duty cleaner for that uh, instead. So we're just going to spray this down and wipe it off. One of the cool things about Barricade Sprayable Bed Liner is, of course, that it's sprayable. This is our R88 spray gun that you can purchase separately, or like I said, you can roll it on or brush it on as well. This system has been specifically designed to work together, so the threads on this gun fit perfectly on the top of this bottle. So all you have to do is literally pull the cap off, put the gun in, and you're ready to go. One of the things you want to do is dial in the spray gun so it matches the pattern and the thickness that you're going to want to apply. So all you need to do is take a separate piece of cardboard or board. You're going to adjust your air pressure and the nozzle in order to get the pattern and texture that you're going to want. I've already done that. This gun is ready to go. So all we have to do is insert this in here and we're going to spray. You do want to make sure your air supply is clean. I have a large shop compressor, so it's got oil and water filters already. If you don't have that, you may want to have one at the gun, but I'm not going to need that. We're going to spray this half and roll this half so you can see what those two different textures look like and what the two application methods look like. Of course, you want to have your good PPE, personal protection equipment. I'll have glasses on. I've definitely got my nitro gloves on. And I'll also be using a respirator, which I'm outside, so you could probably get away without using. I tend to err on the side of caution, uh, so I tend to go that way. If you want to protect your clothes, you can pick up a cheap Tyvek jumpsuit uh, like you may see in one of my other videos. That just allows you to keep the overspray off everything. Of course, if you're doing areas that you don't want to be sprayed, you want to make sure you mask everything off and put plastic down to protect all those areas and any other areas around you because just like any other coating, if it's in the air, it tends to land on surfaces that you absolutely don't want it to land on. Make sure when you're done that you remove the tape before it has a chance to dry. Connect your air supply, get your PP ready to go, and you're ready to spray. There you have it. It's as simple as that. Just spray it on. Make sure everything's covered. You can do different passes. Just make sure that the full surface is covered for you. We're going to let this sit for about an hour, preferably out of direct sunlight. I'm in direct sunlight right now shooting this video. So what I'll do is I'll probably move this inside, give it a chance to cure from the bottom up, 
instead of from the top down that gives it the best adhesion that we're looking for. Once everything's fully coated and you're done, all you need to do is get this cleaned up with some water. I'm gonna use a garden hose, you can use soap and water, whatever is most convenient for you. Disassemble the gun slightly just so you make sure you get all the internals fully cleaned. All your other tools can be washed off just with water. That's the nice thing about having a water soluble bed liner. If you don't have access to an air compressor or those sorts of tools, you can always brush and roll on barricade sprayable bed liner. It's going to give a little bit of a different texture than it will when it sprays on, but it still looks great, still adheres just as well. And so we're going to show you how to do that. I've basically just poured some into this small plastic container. I've got a cheap disposable foam roller. You'll probably have to use a combination of roller and brush in order to get into nooks and crannies, depending on the surface you're going to apply it to. This is just an easy and flat surface, so it's just going to roll on really easy. And then I can dispose of all of this, wash it out, whatever you need to do. And there you have it, another simple application process, another application option for you by using the roller and or the brush. As you can see, it does give a little bit of a different texture, but it's very similar to the spray on method. So if you don't have an air compressor, you don't have that available, this is definitely an option for you. Again, I'm gonna let this cure for about an hour. I'll take it out of the direct sunlight. Then we'll check on it and see how we did. So it's been about an hour and everything is cured just fine. As you can see, there is a little bit of a texture difference between the rolled on version and the spray on version. You will be able to get a little bit more of a cleaner look with the spray. But again, if you don't have access to that, you can perfectly uh, get things coated by using a brush or a roller. This was applied in direct sunlight, which we don't recommend. Uh, I'm doing that for the purpose of this video. I would recommend you do it either in the morning or in the evening if you're gonna do it outside, or better yet, just do it inside your garage or inside your shop. So there you have Barricade Sprayable Bed Liner. It is a great DIY option. Again, it's water soluble, easy to clean up easy to repair, it lasts for a long time, provides excellent protection for your truck bed, your fenders, your rocker panels, whatever you want to apply it to, and it's gonna last for a long time. And the price is right and very affordable. So check out ruggedorstore.com to get yours today.